All right, so you see headlines about Florida all the time. But have you ever asked a Floridian what a Floridian is scared of? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hey guys, I'm Nicholas Schroeder, one half of the Schroeder Brothers, Berkshire Hathaway Results Realty. And we're going to do a fun one again. Didn't get to do it last week. Had to tell a story about some buyers. Hopefully we're able to tune in for that one. But this week we're going to get back to it. We're going to do a fun one. What are Floridians scared of? But instead of just being, this is what we're scared of, we're going to break it into some categories. We're going to do respects, dislikes, strikes fear, and flat out petrified. Maybe you know what's going to fall into these categories. Maybe you don't. But let's dive right in right now. First up, what do Floridians respect? Well, I have three things on my list. Of course, there's some more, but the three big things. Number one, we respect sharks. We spend a lot of time in the water. We know the water, the ocean, that's the shark's house. So we are visitors in their home. So we respect them. Not necessarily afraid of them, but we respect them. Don't get in the water with a bunch of fish, you know? Don't get in the water with chummed waters, you know? Things you do to avoid encounters with sharks, because we do respect them. In addition to sharks, guess what? Sometimes we're in freshwater. We respect alligators. They've been around a long time. They're pretty much dinosaurs. You know, you can debate that one, but I believe they've been around pretty much as long. So they've survived a lot. So we respect alligators. Again, not necessarily afraid of alligators because we are knowledgeable about alligators, about when they will attack, about when you don't want to bother them. But, of course, we still have Florida man and Florida woman who often tries to get just a little too close to get that picture. And guess what? Mm, alligators are faster than you might think. So, we respect them, not necessarily afraid of them. The third thing you may have thought was going to fall into a different category, but I put it in respect. Hurricanes. But, cat three or higher. Cat one, cat two, it's gonna sound bad. That's just a reason to have a party. This is Florida, we have hurricane season. We know they're coming. Category one, category two, we're not gonna overly worry. Category three, we start to give it some respect. Obviously, it does depend on where you are in the state of Florida. I'm based in central Florida. If you're on the coast, eh, maybe category two strikes a little more respect. But category three and higher for most Floridians, you get that hurricane, it's gonna get some respect. Next category, dislikes. So I have three things in the dislike category. And they're all insects. Fire ants, because they hurt like you know what. Mosquitoes, because they are annoying and they bite you and then they itch. And number three, if you saw my video from two weeks ago, love bugs. We dislike those insects the most. Fire ants, mosquitoes, and love bugs. Easy category. Strikes fear. What strikes fear in Floridians? Three things in this list too. Number one, I'll probably get some feedback on this one because maybe this is just me, at least a lot of people I know. Snakes. I don't like snakes. They do strike fear. But as long as I know where this snake is, I'm generally okay with it. But it does strike some fear. I have had one end up in my kitchen. And that was an interesting evening trying to get a snake out of my kitchen with a pool net and a broom. But I succeeded. And the snake lived. Black snakes, they're good for you. So I have a few that roll around my house. They are the security of my homestead. Number two on the strike fear list, cockroaches. Scratch that. Florida cockroaches in the form of palmetto bugs. Have you ever seen a palmetto bug? It's kind of like a cockroach and a pterodactyl mated, and this is what came out. Palmetto bugs can be massive, and when they, oh, they fly. And when they, uh, when they land on you, you're going to know it. So, yeah, palmetto bugs, they strike some fear. Mm. Maybe it's just me, but I guarantee you there'll be multiple people that will agree with that. Palmetto bugs, definitely on that list. Third thing on the list for strikes fear in Floridians. Driving on I-4. Interstate 4, 
is constantly named one of the most dangerous highways in the country. Interstate 4 runs from Daytona Beach to Tampa, so it runs smack dab across the state. Highly traveled. A lot of people use it to get to the parks. A lot of people use it to get to and from work. There's a lot of construction. A lot of people use it like a speedway. It is a road that, not that you ever should text and drive, but we all know that people do. But when you get on I-4, put your phone down. You need to be alert. So driving on I-4 definitely strikes fear in a lot of Floridians. And the last thing on this list, petrified. What petrifies a Floridian? Three things on this list too. Number one, power loss. But why? Well, it's hot in Florida. So we wanna make sure that our ceiling fans work and our air conditioning works. Preferably the AC, but if you don't necessarily have it, or you can sometimes do without it, but we need that airflow. So power loss for the reasons of AC and fans. Number two, I don't know how which one I should do is number two, which one is number three? Actually, it's kind of counting backwards. Which one's number one? Let's do this one. We are terrified, although I don't think it'll happen, but we're terrified that Publix might one day close. If you've never had a pub sub, or if you've never shopped at Publix, where shopping is a pleasure, Publix, I'll take sponsorship opportunities at this time. Thank you very much. But if Publix closed, a lot of Floridians would be very, very sad. So we're definitely petrified of the thought that Publix could one day close. And the number three on this list of things that petrify, terrify, we're just really, really scared of in the state of Florida is when the temperature drops below 60 degrees. We're not here for that. We're here for sunshine. So when the temperature drops below 60 and you gotta pull out those hoodies and you gotta not wear flip-flops, you gotta put on pants, that petrifies us. Because this is Florida, this is a sunshine state. Beaches, boating, swimming pools, that's why we're here. Not for sub 60 degree weather. So guys, again, a fun video for you, just to kind of give you some insight as what terrifies, petrifies, and scares the crap out of Floridians. I think that was a decently comprehensive list. I welcome your comments below. Let me know what, as a Floridian, scares you. And maybe we'll do a part two to this video. Guys, we do these videos each and every Monday, generally to help inform you how to live, love, and just enjoy Florida. Our hashtag is live flow life, where we live, love, and sell the Florida lifestyle. We try and educate you on what's going on in the state of Florida, try and keep you educated on the real estate market in the state of Florida. We always welcome your questions, comments, concerns. If you would, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe, click the notification bell, like, comment, whatever on this video. It is very much appreciated. Again, the videos are each and every Monday. We appreciate it when you watch. You can visit our YouTube page, which is where all these videos live, by going to liveflowlifevideos.com. These videos are also posted on Rumble and often on our other social media pages. You can get directly to our website by going to liveflowlife.com. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, we welcome all comments, questions, concerns, the whole deal. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.